Okay, so you've got images out of a GAN, and um, a lot of them, and you got them all the way from the first epoch where it's just a big blur of random noise, all the way to the end where you got a really refined uh, bit GAN. Now I'm going to show you how to make them into a really cool loop, uh, the way I did for all the bit GANs up to date, or most of the bit GANs up to date, and, uh, and share it with you so you can make really cool smooth animations as well. So here we go. Okay, so now that we got the images from the GAN, uh, they've been trained. We took the training data, sent the training data into a GAN. Like I said, the GAN can be any any of a number of different GANs. Keep on repeating that. But uh, we wanted them to pull 64. We need, for this method of making a really smooth animation, we need 64 images. I'm going to go ahead and load them up into Photoshop here. They should start loading any second now. And the reason we need 64 is because um, nine of these images are going to be used to collapse uh, or to f fade into each other. And what's interesting about that is 64 minus 9 is 55. For all the people that have been in BitGans for a while, 55 is a Fibonacci number. And uh, we like the BitGans like Fibonacci's. So what I'm doing is I'm collapsing uh, the 64 images into a single uh, file. So there will be 64 frames. And I'm going to show you how you blend the, the first nine frames with the last nine frames. Uh, to take the 64 down to uh, 55 for a really smooth animation. So uh, here we are putting it together. Okay, so now we have, and, and before we do this, let me show you what a, a, a unsmooth animation looks like. So I'm going to go make frames from layers. And here it is. Here's 64 images in an unsmooth animation. It looks cool. This part of the animation is neat. But when you get to the 64th frame, now, bam, it just all of a sudden starts over. So watch this, we're at frame 40, get to 64th animation, bam, it starts over. We want to make that transition that's happening right here a lot smoother. Because look, it goes from frame 64 to frame 1. And here's how we're going to do that. We're going to take, uh, we're going to take the final nine frames and do a fade, a fade into the uh, first nine frames and do a fade into the final nine frames. So there, I take these nine frames. I'm going to actually move them up to the top in this animation. And if someone, you know, if someone's watching this, this could definitely be done programmatically. Um, and I, I use, I myself use action scripting in Photoshop because there's, uh, it's just, it's just, that's how I did it first and it works really great and I can, I can batch them. Um, but if someone, you know, Photoshop is not something everyone has. Um, so... You know, it'd be cool if someone put something together in Python and did a Google Colab notebook to make these animations. Uh, input 64 frames, output 55 frames with the kind of with the kind of loop. I'm sorry, with the kind of fade that I'm about to show you. So here's how the frame is. So now I've interlaced it. So this is from the beginning, layer eight, and then layer 63. This is it's this simple. I'm going to make this 90% opacity. I'm going to fade down. So layer 63 is 90% of the layer right before, I'm sorry, the image right before the next frame. All right. I'm going to go to uh, layer 7. I'm going to do this at 80% opacity. Then I'm going to merge this down. Layer 7 is going to go on top of 62. All right. That was 90, 80%. I'm going to make this next one 70% opacity. Merge it down. I'm going to make this one 60% opacity. Merge it down. And this one, now that we're at 50% opacity, it's easiest to see. There's one frame. Here's the other. These are the two frames we're going to merge. I'm going to take this one, do it at 50% opacity. And look, it's half and half of each image. So if I take this top layer off, look, it's 50-50 of each image. Merge it down. This one's 40. Merge it down. This is actually 30. You know, I think this would be easy in Python, actually, because... Python does, R, Higgs was telling me Python does RGB A, 20% here, merge it down. And A is the alpha channel, which is the opacity. So it literally just be going, it's like put one image on top of the other, but the image that's going on top would be 90. You'd set all the uh, alpha channels to 90, or I'm sorry, 90%, which would be like, um, I don't know, 222 or something around there, 10% down. Okay, so now, now if we look at these, you'll see this is the animation. Look at the main frame. Okay, now let's see how this looks. I'm going to delete this animation that we already have. I'm going to create a new animation and make a new animation from layers. And let's watch this one. Here it's coming up on 60. And look at that smooth transition. Right at around frame 54. There you go. Okay, so instead of that abrupt transformation here, I'm going, let's go back. It's barely noticeable. It's kind of neat too because 
right when the big end comes into focus, it gets blurry again and goes starts the animation right back over again. So that's it. That's how you take 64 images. Um, the really important thing, of course, I, I think I mentioned, is you want to get that. You want to get the fuzzy parts at the very beginning of a GAN. You don't want your entire GAN to be resolved because these are the nice parts where it's it's almost as if the GAN is bringing everything into focus. Uh, what do I mean by that? Let me take one of these. Here's the first image of the GAN. I'm bringing it in here. Let's see. Let's see. Here it is. I'm just bringing. It. Okay. There's the first. This is cool. You want to keep these. You want to have a lot of these. You want to have. Some, I'm going to put another. You want to have some of these too because they make for a good transition. And this is sort of like we're watching the GAN try and find the patterns live. And I think that's the most interesting part. And that and that gives a lot to the dance. Here's another image. Anyway, I hope this tutorial worked or helped. It's a lot longer than the others, but it shows how to make a smooth animation once you get that that um, process data out again. All right, talk to you all later. Oh, one last quick note. You know, we want these to be around five megs, and just technically, uh, that five. I found that 512 by 512 pixel um, GIFs at 55 frames comes out to around five megs. Um, so that's just a, a good thing. Just make it 512 by 512 if you're around 55 to 64 frames. And like I said, 55 is just what I do, and it's kind of neat because then we can combine it. But you don't have to if you want to use a different amount of frames. Uh, have fun making these. Thanks a lot.